All right, so we're here at Bitwise, and uh, my name is Travis, and we've got something really cool that we wanted to share with you guys. It's a web application that we have developed called Community Officer, and I'm here with Ron Brumbarger, our president, and uh, I just want to take a couple minutes and have him share a little bit about, first of all, what is Community Officer? So there's probably somebody watching that just has no idea. So yeah. what is Community Officer and why? Why did we... Why did we want to get into that? Well, let's start with why. Yeah. Uh, police departments and police officers around the country today are under duress. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a diminishing level of respect for them on the job yeah. in the critical work that they do. Mm -hmm. And if you look at how do they earn that respect, you see a lot of conversations today around community engagement. And that's their way of saying, hey, we do a lot more than just arrest people. Yep. Right? And Every community is in, every large community is a, in a state of tension these days. Uh, and, and many cities will tell you we're one bullet away from chaos. Yeah. And that's a bad story, obviously. Yeah. And we said, how can we help police officers tell their story to a community that is in addition to everything else they do? How do we give them a number on their scoreboard that's not just arrests and shootings? Mm -hmm. And so we came up with this idea called referrals. How mm -hmm. do we help? A police officer refer a person in need to help instead of having to arrest them. Can yeah. we avert an arrest, which is very expensive? Yeah. Can we avert an arrest and get this person need, uh, get this person help uh, instead of uh, having to arrest them? Yep. Yeah. So no, that's, that's the why. That's awesome. And think about it a minute. If we can help one mom with kids or one young man not die from heroin overdose. Yeah. Shouldn't we as a firm do that? Absolutely. I mean, you think about it, if you can help one kid not Absolutely. die from heroin, yep. get ahead of the cause of the crime, right? How do we get ahead yep. of the cause and help that person in need? We should do this. If we can help one person, we should do it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's really cool. Um, so last week you had a pretty cool opportunity that I think a lot of people will never have. You had an opportunity to go on a ride along with IMPD. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you kind of just explain that experience? Aside from com community officer, what was the experience of the ride along from your perspective? Sobering, first of all. Not not bad. Not just the, the circumstances mm -hmm. they find themselves in, but the men I got to be with yeah. uh, for that evening. And, and I will tell you that. Aside from living, losing someone you're close to, having a baby, getting married, I really think this is about number four in a heart-softening experience you can experience. Yeah. Something that just shakes you to your core and you see what's, what it's really like to yeah. be a police officer on the street dealing in a tough environment yeah. and having to uh, call balls and strikes with little information. Yeah. Uh, so I had dinner with these guys when we stopped. Mm -hmm and uh, had a chance in a relative relaxed and relatively relaxed environment yeah. versus the chaos of another run. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure they were anticipating the question because it's the proverbial question that any newbie would ask is, oh, yeah. why do you guys do this? Mm -hmm. And without one nanosecond of hesitation, every one of them said to make a difference in mm -hmm. people's lives. Now. I'm choking it back. Yeah. Now I was choking it back then. Yeah. Right. To think these guys put their lives on the line to make a difference in yeah. our community. Yeah. And so again, how would we as a firm and me as a professional not want to support these guys? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing to to think about uh, the opportunity we have to serve them as they serve us. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool when you get to put a face behind the job you know you get to know the guys that are out there policing out there protecting out there you know serving our communities and you get to put a face with it and hear their stories behind why they do what they do you know a great example when we were in the ride along we got a call to uh, go to a group home mm -hmm. and a young lady had left uh, now as it turns out she's walking back toward the home mm -hmm. uh, and the officer I was with Jeremy uh, he said oh I, I know this house I've met this young lady mm. many times before yeah so he gets out and she yells hey Jeremy right she's probably one of the most state or he's probably one of the most stable things she knows yeah 
and it's pouring rain, and he's in a, you know, a jacket, right? Yeah. It's pouring rain. Now you or I would think, really, I, mean, I your natural hesitation is, really, come on, go back inside. Yeah. But without hesitation, he got out and he, you know, encouraged her back inside. It took him a while to get her to go in and stay, hmm. and um, and that was our first referral. Okay. Uh, but you know he could have just rolled down the window and said you need to go back home. Mm -hmm. He got out. He gave her a hug. He ushered her home. Yeah. And back into a safe place. Yeah. So she knew he was validating that was the right place for her to be. Mm -hmm. Or he was validating that was the right place for her to be. Yeah. 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 No, that's really cool. So you got you got to see firsthand community officer in action. Absolutely. He used it. Absolutely. What was that like? Well, it's pretty cool. I'm sure. Yeah. Took him 90 seconds. We have video of That's Jeremy awesome. doing this. Right? That's awesome. Uh, it took him 90 seconds. We weren't able to do it at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, as we were wrapping up that particular run, uh, we got another call of a shooting, <laughs> and so we had to rush off to an apartment complex uh, down the road at some 80 some miles, 87 miles an hour in a 35 mile an hour zone. So that was a little creepy at yeah, first, I bet. <laughs> uh, but I was okay with it. Yeah. Thought, you know, he's a professional, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, so we got rushed off to another one. So it wasn't until that situation had uh, subsided and was under control that he was able to then make the referral. That's cool. That's cool. So, first. so community officer is built with the idea that these guys, they don't know when the next call is going to come. They don't know when they're going to have to shoot out to go someplace else, to go be someplace else, to be there to help somebody else. So the idea is that it's a quick and efficient method of helping them make referrals on the spot. Yeah, so IMPD knows, thank you, I, IMPD knows that it, it costs them $875 to make an arrest. Hmm. That doesn't include incarceration, defense, feeding the person, uh, court costs, uh, prosecution costs just to book them is eight hundred and seventy five wow. bucks so do the math they had thirty two thousand arrests last year for some number like that it's big money yeah right it's really big money and if they can avert that arrest in other words get that person help instead of having to arrest them maybe they don't have to go back there yeah so it pulls some load off of them and keeps that person from having a criminal record yeah and gets them the help that they ultimately need instead yeah. of, as they refer to it as cuff therapy. How do we avoid cuff therapy? Mm -hmm. Get them the help that they need. Hmm. That's really, that's great.